got John over there. We got Eric. <laughs> no. Hey. Hey, hey. How are y'all? Good, how are y'all? I'm going to enter this time. We're getting there. Yeah, how's the uh, shoulder? It's, it's doing all right. Yeah? Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Ask him where his phone is. <laughs> is it his pocket? Okay. okay. I was going to say, it's like always something. You guys left the office one time and lost a wallet. I did. Yeah, and then, uh, then he lost the phone. Yeah. He lost his phone. <laughs> you know, that was left out of it. And, and then it was funny on the last video, you were like, yeah, I took a couple. I was like, well, I never heard about it. You said you lost your phone. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah, because we did like uh, whoever was behind us. Like I, I got up right away and I gave everybody a thumbs up. And got you know got got to help me get my bike up and got over the side of the road. And yeah. Whoever called 911 had had told them something like I was dead or in the road or something, and uh, they flew out a helicopter and everything. So so luckily I had, I was like I told Michelle I was like if this bike cranks, I was like I'm out of here because I didn't damage nobody's stuff but my own. Right. So I was like I ain't gonna sit here and get a useless ticket and have to pay a lawyer to get out of it. No, I agree. So, uh, yeah, I was like, so we sort of kept the hush-hush because we didn't know, you know, so. No, you got no problem with me. I was just like, all right. <laughs> yeah. I figured it felt like talking somewhere, you know, that's happened to me. Yeah. yeah. I did I did it in city limits. I was, I had a loose chain and we found out my rear tire was actually offset. Um, so that probably didn't help too much, and then I was driving aggressive. And, so, you, so you rode it home that way? Yeah, uh, 350 miles <laughs> with a fractured shoulder blade. Only, th only thing that really sucked was like the bridges, where it's boom. Uh -huh. That would, that would hurt. But I was actually fairly comfortable uh, riding home. But uh, today's the first time I've rode since. Yeah. Better today then? Oh yeah, yeah. It was feeling super good last Thursday, yeah. and then I crawled under my mower to tighten the blade or something. And, and I reached up and moved the wrong way and tweaked it. Yeah, so it's still it's still a little stiff and sore from that, but it's feeling better every day again. Well, it's a good day to ride. Yeah, yeah, we had fun. You got that going. Yes, and zip tie. That sun is like really hot. Yep, coming out with a vengeance today. So we've been in the cold too long. And I'm the one that told you I didn't want to wear an orange. I'm comfortable. We got nine for scissors. Yeah. 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 We'll uh, buy you a tank top or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everybody, we're out here at the smoking Harley Davidson. Says the best dealership in the trade. Voted. Uh, everybody's out here getting set up. Vendors. There's our bikes out there. We're the early birds. They're getting the sound set up for the band. Full throttle over here. We got Tom McGross Motorcycle Log Group. They say your motorcycle may be worth more than you think. And they want you to trade it in on a Harley. Yeah. We're out here a little early. So we'll check in with you later. Yeah, Ninja Lee, and if you see that orange bike right there, that's the video. That's hey, one of our videos. Spin. This is I'm on a frisbee. Something boys can play with. Yeah. Yes. You get a keychain. Which is that? Or that? He's like blowing the water if you like going the river a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like a little light on it. Cool. 
they go on the light. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Please <laughs> subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Right <laughs> and, uh, I'm pretty sure you were. I got you on Yes. What? The other event we went to, Double D's. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I Which bought a pair. One? I bought a pair of glasses there. We bought a pair of glasses every time. Yes. Oh, uh, that was what? Beer February or? Yeah. Yeah. Beer February. Yeah. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. I bought a that pair was of glasses. Uh, yeah. A couple YouTube channels. Uh, I know Rose put me on. Rose did a, a video and she put it up. I was on that one. And now you guys. And I've been in, uh, I know I've been in Blue Power Magazine, or it's been mentioned a few times in that. Glasses, yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, my first, first, the first pair I bought was at the Midway at Mayhem. That was the first pair, Midway at Mayhem. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, and then the, the Double D. Double D. I bought yeah. the second pair, and I that was third. the third pair. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. Did you get uh, some pictures of that? Yeah. We'll keep them in stock. Yeah, I will. They're one of my, yeah. my listeners. Yeah. Yep. I do lawn care, so they get dropped and scratched and dirty and yeah. abused. So I'm all, I'm all the time needing a pair. They get abused. Uh, I get the highest. I know the companies that I can get the best, highest quality. And the lenses last. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I get. You know, the sleeves are too. And if you take care of them, boom. Well, I know. I'll, hopefully, um, I find out June second whether or not I can get LASIK again. And if I can get it again, I'm getting the pair. <laughs> yeah, I've had it done once back in 03 and I had to start wearing glasses again in 2017. And so I've got an eval to see if I can qualify again. Oh, wow. Yeah. But if, uh, you if do, I do, I'm going to need glasses. Those kinds? Yep. You like how they fit? Well, I know his is bigger on me because I got a little head. <laughs> so. I, I got the perfect one for you. Single pair right there, not one. Try them on. Try them on. Yes, they look. They look good? Yeah, fit you. Oh. They fit right here. Here's a pair. Take a look. They fit great on you. Hold it up. See? I will have different colors in them. I keep these in stock too. Cool. You'll probably want orange. I probably want orange. <laughs> I don't think they come in orange. I don't think they come in orange. The only orange ones I do have are this style. Yeah. Try that one. They, well, a lot of females like them. They're cool. Yeah. They're a little wide. Yeah. They're a little wide. Yeah. They look okay though. Not too aggressive. Are they colorized too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I probably go with these. Yeah. <laughs> And I do, I, I will have more than these. Cause I gotta get these again too. Right now I got green, blue, red, blue, and orange. Cool hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to do it again. Yeah, that'll be, be good. See, <laughs> I like the orange ones too. <laughs> so usually when they come in, I think they're, you know, I like the style. Uh, I think they're orange. <laughs> it's, like, it's like she got her LASIK and she had it for like seven years and then I decided to get it. <laughs> oh, another good one might be for you is this style too. This is a little more narrow. I feel like the full frame. Oh, it's full frame? Okay. How you doing, sir? Good, All my glasses are $10 because the rider's down here and Paul Rice over here. Alright, I'll see you guys. Hi, see you. See you at Moon if you go up there. I'll see you guys. Welcome to Jury, y'all. Delta 8's Kathy. Oh, there you go. 
we grow, manufacture, and do everything right here in Winston-Salem. Really? Awesome. We'll see the sale. Gummy nerds. Those are like a bag. No. Good. All right. Well, thank y'all. Thank you. Right, thank you. Doggy and cat treats. <laughs> we got some doggies, but they, they don't need treats the way they act sometimes. That's why you reward the good behavior. <laughs> what kinds do you have? He started off the neighbor's dog and he didn't raise it too good. So he didn't keep it tied up. So I'm like, and we had somebody steal my son's dirt bike. So, uh, <laughs> oh, that is cool. That's pop sockets. That is freaking cool. Look at that. It's uh, solar powered and it glows. Like a little lantern. Like socially, he's not going to, you know, do what he needs to be doing with him. Now, how many milligrams do you want to go through? Mm-hmm. It actually tastes pretty darn good. And it's grown here in North Cardini. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hm
You ain't gonna take our picture, are you? Well, I was gonna put you on YouTube. YouTube, or are you going to put this in Lincoln's magazine? There you go. That's right. We're going to put you on YouTube. Okay? Yeah, we're trying to grow our channel. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're giving a bike away. I'll take a, I'll take a Harley truck. I'm good. How are you doing today? Right down there. That's the book. Tell me where I need to go. Right. I used to live by that chart. I'm like, well, baby, we're going this way this weekend. <laughs> oh, that's the one I need to tell you about. Good morning, Midway and Midway. Hey, I just want to get your attention for just a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If What's going on now? Is the you need a car today? Take one of my cars. My blind man is so far off. off. The ammunition pass is here for only $5. What? She lost it because of her trip for one of these new Harleys. 12 gauge. Well, I ain't got $5 in cash. So, the power of the Sonic Keys is lost. It's inside. I can see this. We'll see how the business is. I'm going to bring my neck on the ATM. This is the <laughs> What's up, y'all? Good morning, early afternoon. This is really early for me, but I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Thanks for coming out. Spring fling here at Smoking a Harley Davidson. Um, it's been a minute since I've been in Winston-Salem, especially around you guys, so it's good to be back. Play you some songs to get the Saturday kicked off for you. Feels right to start it with a Skinner song. That's usually how I like to start my days, especially with this one.
nation sits in. Put his own I'm singing. Do, 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 looking out my back door. His giants doing God wheels. Statues wearing high heels. Look at all the happy creatures dancing. You never know what's out there sometimes. I live in Hickory, and uh, we live right in downtown Hickory, which is not much at all. But you never know what you're going to see in the backyard. It could be an albino squirrel. Um, could be a, a homeless guy. You, know, you just never know. Back there. Uh, you want to enter in the contest? You want to enter in the contest? No, I'm just free to enter, I believe. Is it? Yeah. When is the contest? Yeah, what time? Uh, I think at four, somewhere around four. Yeah, we'll be gone by then. Be about that for a uh, second. It's, but I'm about to go up and ride on and all of the men. What time are they doing the contest? I'll be right there. Four. Four. Oh, that's how I have, to, I have cards on me. My name is Danny Carr. It's spelled a little weird, so come see me and I'll, I'll give you a card. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a card. 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 I can't tell because of the way it is, but I mean, the actual contact has to be rolled out the road straight. But Everybody, let's check it out inside. <laughs> cool looking little trike, I like that. <laughs> it's actually still like a real motorcycle other than just adding the two wheels. It's not all the luggage and baggage and giant trunk space. <laughs> Kind of windshield, you know. Little itty bitty. A little bigger than little itty bitty. <laughs> All the way up to big little bitty. <laughs> Nineteen sixty three Taka. <laughs> you know, your typical Harley Davidson jargon.
I'll just walk around the outside. Been to one Harley Davidson dealership, you've seen all this stuff. Nineteen seventy six FXE. I'm from Louisiana. <laughs> there we go. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Does look so cool. <laughs> I like the all black, I guess, better.
today and hanging out with us. Thank you, Danny Carr, for starting everything out. Cut your sound. And she's easy on the eyes, too, guys. <laughs> but I just want to say a quick thank you for, from Biker Trash Nation and Smoking Harley Davidson for everybody coming out today. Make sure you go inside and check out the deals they got on the bikes. And I just want everybody to have a good time. So if I could get everybody to pay attention one second, I need everybody at the top of your lungs to give me a big hell yeah on count of three. One, two, three. Hell yeah! Well, maybe y'all wake up eventually. I don't know. That's kind of weak. We'll try it again later. We're still coming guys, but we're gonna walk up the hill, see who's parked up here. We still got people rolling in.
Having a good time. What you got to say, Ninja? Thinking about motorcycle events, there's always somewhere to park. <laughs> that red bike's a 1100, I believe. Down there. That guy right there. That guy right there. There's a free bike show. Free bike show. Where you can win. Looking 1100. Uh, Not too many of them in that good a condition right. anymore. So it'll be, it'll be myself and Wade and Dexter from Tom Cross Motorcycle Law Group who is set up right over here sandwiched comfortably between Biker Trash Nation and the Carolinas Little Bottle Magazine. I'll tell you what, that is some white bread right there.
almost two o'clock out here at the smoking Harley Davidson. I wanted to talk to y'all about our bike giveaway. You know, we got the SZ650. Want to get up to a thousand subscribers? Tell your friends about it. Tell them to join us. But yeah, that's one of the things we want to get done. There, we want to give away that bike. We've been talking about it and talking about it. I'm tired of talking about it. Let's give it away. But yeah, it just keeps getting more and more packed. So a lot of people have come and gone, but more people keep pouring in than leaving. But uh, I now see there's a bunch of bikes up there. But so, the uh, we got like a, I guess a little diner or something in the Harley Davidson up here. And we'll go check it out. But uh, yeah, let's give away to the SV650, and then we may be even planning on another giveaway. I mean, we will be doing another giveaway. May or may not be a bike we already have. But, uh, we're always looking on at bikes to buy, stuff like that. Or at least Michelle is almost every day. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it around here to Chelsea. Not a whole lot of people entering the bike shows, so if you got a nice bike, you need to start coming to these events and winning some trophies or something here. And there's usually a cash prize for best in shows.
or something, or whatever. questions. Do you know who didn't have to ask questions? Who? Her husband. Derek. Oh, Dexter. Dexter, don't have, he don't have to worry about questions. He knows it all. 
Well, let, let's spell this out. Look, we had this we had this great free bike show, and, and it we was had, free, wasn't it? It was free. It was free for freaks. But we had 34 bikes in there, and this is not an easy one to judge. They were all beautiful bikes. So what we have is a 10 point scale. There's that muff thing again. 10 point scale on on a, a bunch of different categories. So we we judge all these bikes individually. It's not just a hey, I like this bike better than that one. Uh, the esteemed judges today were the uh, wonderful Wayne Penix, the dedicated Dexter uh, Dexter Wrights, and me. You. Right. Full you, Throttle Magazine. Should, right? should, so, should I give you your full name? No, no, no. Um, I, if anybody has a problem, Lincoln so, Shakita. <laughs> If Infield. anybody has a problem, just take it to Dexter or Wayne here. He likes to be called Quita. Yeah, that's it. That's a that's his thing. I haven't been called that since camp. So <laughs> camp was just last week. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get down to it. Look, we tallied it all up. We we uh, made our selections. Then we had to go back through and pick a best in show to paint. So that moves some things around. That's why we left Wayne up here, trying to keep the crowd going. But. I could have told you naught plus naught equals naught. That's Jethro math right there. It's true. How did people not know math that watch that watch the Beverly Hillbillies? Jethro taught you everything you need to know. Naught plus naught equals naught. He had a sixth grade education. Y'all know that, right? He had a sixth grade education. How many of y'all been? How many y'all watched that show recently? Anybody? Well, there's there's four. We got again. three, four people. <laughs> So four people got that joke. Good job. You're on point. Let's go. Let's it's go ahead. about today's topics. That's what it's all about. Right. What's happening right now. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and give away some trophies and cash? Right now. Look, every single one of these uh, class winners is going to get a beautiful trophy here and a crispy $50 bill. Well, it was crispy. It's been in my pocket all day. So if it's a little soggy. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> But what Lincoln wants you to know is Lincoln, he, he carved all these out by hand. All that's Lincoln's handiwork. And the $50, he even made that in his basement. So oh. That's it. That's it. So don't, uh, don't spend it in town. So <laughs> are you ready to go now? All right. And here's the other thing. Now, look, don't get your trophy and leave. I'm going to hold on to that $50 because I want you to ride your bike up here. We're going to take pictures. We're going to get Ray in on it. We're going to get uh, Wayne's beautiful face in there. And we're going to take pictures, you guys, that we can put in the Carolinas Full Throttle Magazine when we put the coverage for this event in there. So, without further ado, and since ladies are always first, we're going to do the ladies class. Uh, and this wasn't hard. There was a bunch of beautiful ladies' bikes out there. Number 26 was Shannon Via Vi. Shannon Vi, there you go. Bring it on down here. She has a beautiful 2007 Softail Deluxe the Black Widow bike, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Come here and accept your trophy. Like I said, do not get it and leave. We want you to roll up here so we can take a beautiful picture of you and your bike. Hold on, get in there. Fantastic, congratulations. Right. Everybody stay in here. All right, so that's ladies class. Moving right along, let's go to the bagger class. You got your bagger trophy. All right, the bagger class, we had to do some moving around because there's a lot of great ones, but number 11, in the bagger class, Terry Woods with his 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide took first place in the bagger class and he will get a beautiful trophy and a soggy $50 bill. I believe that's him making his way. Come on front. up here, Harry Wood. <laughs> that's, that's Terry. That's what? Terry Wood, not oh, Harry. Oh, Terry Wood. Terry Wood. I was getting ready to say, dude, your parents didn't like you. It was not a They named you Harry Wood. It I was mean, not a comment of stature. It was name was Terry. 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 Ter you need to pronounce your T's. Terry. Terry Wood. <laughs> Make sure you get that, Terry. <laughs> All right. The Cruiser class. Now, there was a ton of these guys in here. Terry, where are you going? You got to come back. You got to stay up here. We stay. Are, we're not done with you yet. That stay and then we're gonna have you come. Harry, now he's Harry. Yeah. Look, Harry, look, now, Harry, look, Terry. Look, Harry was trying to leave. Terry's got to stay up here. All right, all right. We did that. What was that? Okay, cruiser class. Sorry, right, now you said cruiser. <laughs> I was getting worried about Harry. Cruiser class number twenty-five. Tyler Medlin with the two thousand six CVO Fat Boy. Beautiful bike. Tyler's wearing a nice salmon-colored shirt today. That matches his khakis, and he, I can't he's tell. He's ready for the beach. I, he's the ready lake. for the beach. He he says this is my party outfit. Pass, Come on down. 
Pass the potato salad. Here comes Tyler. <laughs> he said he comes straight from work where he works at Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> All right. Now one of my favorite classes, always hard to choose these, the pre-95 class. Man, make it tough. Yeah, it's a vintage class. Uh, the vintage class pre-95 went to number 12. Say that again? <laughs> that was number 12. <laughs> hey, just, Lincoln just hit puberty. Ladies and gentlemen, give a hand for Lincoln hey, just hitting puberty. Hey, look, that's, that's me not trying to hold the southern back. Wow. That, that was number 12. All right, look, 12, the number 12, went to Jake Kernstock with his 1984 HD FL. He's probably in the back. He should be working. Jake is probably selling somebody some parts right now. But it's a beautiful bike. It's a limited uh, paint edition, beautiful bike. Gotta love it. All right, so whenever Jake uh, gets off of work, what time does he get off, like 8 o'clock? We'll be waiting for him. <laughs> we'll be waiting for him. Nine o'clock, he'll come down here. We'll probably have spent that 50 bucks by then. <laughs> All right. So that leaves us with best paint and best in show. Um, best paint. Man, this guy, he was going to win a uh, category himself, but he, he got best paint too because he had, he had two wins. But number 10, Aubrey Smart with a 1996 Fat Boy. Man, I'll tell you what, that thing screams 1996. It has got a beautiful paint job, chrome from top to bottom, beautiful bike. I really appreciate you bringing that out there. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. I appreciate that. Does that work? No, no, it didn't work. All right. Appreciate it, Aubrey. All right, and now, the best in show bike. This one was not a hard decision. If anybody looks down that row of bikes, I'm pretty sure you could have judged this one and said this is the best in show. Number 29 with a whopping 170 points. Steven Sexton with a 2020 HD Road Glide. What is, that thing has got like a 65 inch front wheel, air ride, like every bit of paint, switches, all kinds of stuff in there. Man, it was beautiful. Flipping switches for his bitches. He does, he does. I think that thing makes pancakes, waffles, all Waffle kinds maker. of stuff. Hey, look, I'm gonna need a couple of espresso when we get done with this. Steven is gonna take home the Best of Show trophy today and $150. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere yet. He's now, going. Now, you, you were discussing this uh, next year's uh, spring bike rally, right? Yeah, but I need to do one thing real quick. He's going to talk about how he's going to go skydiving no, with the children. Grace, come here for a second. Come here for just one second. Is Gracie going skydiving? I want to I wanna shout this young lady out right here. This young lady has busted her butt and helped us put on one phenomenal rally. Let's, let's, give, up, let's give her some noise. Come on. Thank you. I just want you to know we appreciate you. Would you care to say a you few words? You can't cry. The There's wait, no wait. crying at the Smoking Spring Rally. What you're is supposed this? to give a speech now. You're, spo you're supposed to do, uh, sing a song or something. something. Anyway, that was great. She does need all the recognition because she does have to work for Ray. So, you know, God bless her. Ray, Ray gets a little bit of, you know, Ray's kind of awesome, too. Everybody give him a round of applause. Let's give Ray a round of applause. Just yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Huh? Look at him. He just loves it. Look. Don't you just want to put him in your pocket and take him home? Ray's the real driving force. You know, this, this, he's the looks of the whole operation. Ray's the one that really does this stuff. Gracie pulled it all off. Let's face it. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how I got to be looked, but I'm Look fine. Look at him. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, well, that bug liked me. Is what is this? Coming out of an airplane? I am not hey. going out of an airplane. That's it. Hey, look, let's hear a big round of applause for everybody that wants to see Wayne Penix skydive for the children. If that's not convincing, I don't know what is. It's not. It's really not. It's hard to disappoint y'all. That's not going to happen. So what's this next party we're talking about? This next party is the Spoken Spring Rally next year. A two-day, not one, a two-day event. That's, that's one more than one day. See, nothing gets by you, man. I just did a lot of math. I'm, I'm pretty sharp on it right now. Well, I'm going to let you finish up with your, your, your winners taking pictures. Guys, 
Thank you very much. You got awesome motorcycles out here. We appreciate you guys more than you could ever know. I'm a, Ray, you want to say something real quick? You sure? You're positive. Nothing? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, I got you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let these guys uh, get their pictures and then let some real musicians come up here and do, some, do their thing. Red Dirt Revival will be hitting the stage next, folks. Stick around. All right, guys. That concludes our time here at the Smokin' Harley Davidson Spring Bike Rally. Again, a link in the description will be below for all the vendors that were there. So please check out this video slide of some photos that I took. And again, please like and subscribe for more content to help us get to that thousand subscribers so we can give away that motorcycle. So thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.